let's do a broad overview. Let's uh, drill down here and take a look at what the IFD540 means in real life. Yes, we're very excited that it's certified. IFD540, one of the biggest things that we did with it is it is a hybrid touch. So hybrid touch means we have both bezel buttons, but also a touch screen. So it allows us to use both functionality. So regardless of the type of flight you're in, whether you're on the ground or you're in turbulence, you can use whatever's easiest for you in that phase of flight. So we have that. It also is a plug and play feature. So if someone has a Garmin 530, that allows you to remove it from the aircraft, the 530, this will slide right into the tray, use the same connectors, same antennas, it can slide in and away you go. So it'll help eliminate downtime on that one big piece of it, but it's also great for shops that have installed thousands of 530s out there or 430s that have similar connectors to it. Now putting this in will be very simple for them as well. Is this the best and brightest of R9? It is. We've taken a lot of the stuff we learned from R9 that came from you know the architecture, the flight planning, but the flight planning is very similar to what you have in the R9 system. It's very easy to put in a flight plan, to change a flight plan, to modify it. And then with touch screen, uh, the nice thing about that is that allows us, one, to pop up a keyboard if we need to, uh, but two, it also allows for rubber banding some other features that we don't have in R9. So we took R9 and added a little bit to it, uh, but also got it down in a much smaller box so that it can go into many more aircraft than what we can put the R9 system into. Obviously, the 540 is meant to be part of a much larger package, and we see it in glorious living color. But where does this go? The nice thing about the 540 is it really can go into, you know, we have over a thousand aircraft on our AML STC. So that opens it us up into a very broad market that we can sell into. But we've also added things. So right under here, we have our Wi-Fi Bluetooth. So that'll allow us to work with, whether it's iPads down the road, devices that allow information to come and go from it. So therefore, we're really provisioning it for the future, which is a nice piece with that built into it. And you folks are part of the Connected Panel Alliance, weren't you? We were. We're going to use some of that. Some of that's built in with our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on it. Mm -hmm. But the big thing is, is you know, getting information out to devices and in back in the system. So we're definitely working on that and hope to have some stuff released by the end of the year on that. What kind of early feedback are you getting from early operators? I actually got a call earlier today, a customer out in California that loves the system, says he's ready to fly any of the customers that want to get a chance to fly it out west. He said it's just night and day difference between the 530 that he installed in there before, entering the flight plans and everything else. I also had another customer that actually, not that I would recommend this, flew without looking at our pilot's guide and just said, I can't believe how easy it was to figure out how to enter in a flight plan. While I recommend everyone uses our pilot's guide, our user interface is the big difference with the equipment we make. And really that stands out to how great our product is and how easy it is to use and intuitive it is to use. Um, not only one for when you're entering a flight plan, but also when there's an emergency situation and you have to know where all the functionality is. We use the same page and tab user interface that we use in the R9 system as well. So you always know where you are on a screen. Like I'm on the flight plan page and if I want to go to the map page, I can just press one button, I can see where I am. I want to go to charts, you know, so it makes it easy to make those changes. When will we see the 440? 440 should be out. We're thinking early Q1 of next year. We're hoping to actually have it into the FAA towards the end of the year. So we'll see how quickly they can churn that. They did a great job getting the 540 and helping churn that quickly once they got all the data. So we'll hope that they'll do the same with the 440 as well. It will go on the same AML STC. So that means the cert basis, some of the things are already completed, which will make that easier. The other nice thing is with the touch screen and the bigger glass than you have with the 440 and our flight planning, you don't have to spend as much time dialing. You can actually type on the screen. You can use our FMS system, GeoFill, to really make the system much easier to use. Outstanding. Jared, thank you so much. Aero TV is brought to you by... Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.